Before we continue with the video, if you like what I'm doing here on this channel, please consider subscribing. It helps the channel a lot. Anyway, let's get back to the video. Welcome back. It is the first Tuesday of the month. That means we get free assets from the Epic Marketplace. This month we're getting the Undead Pack, the Halloween Pumpkins Pack, the Advanced AI Spawn System Pack, Zombie Movement and Modular Animations Pack, a 4-in-1 Environment Mega Bundle Pack. And as always, you can find these under the free category for free for the month on the marketplace. So it's pretty obvious that there is a theme going on this month, which is of course Halloween and scary stuff, because all of these sort of fit together. We have undead characters, we have some pumpkins, we have an AI system which we could be spawning undeads with, we have some zombie movements and animations, and we also have some research environmental uh, envi research environments where something has gone terribly awry and it fits very well with the theme overall. Anyway, let's check them out. So this is the pack for the different characters, the Undead pack. It consists of five different characters that have a combined 65 different animations and they are somewhat modular. You can see each pack, each of the different characters consists of essentially one row where you can see the sort of variations that you can create with the models that you get in the pack. And then you have a row behind it which consists of different animations that are available to you. So this is the pack for the character that's called an enemy goblin. So next up we have the the demo for the, the ghoul, I believe. Is it the ghoul? It is the ghoul. So this is the ghoul level and here you can see some of the different variations. You have a, a very bare bones ghoul, it doesn't have a lot of clothing, slightly more shorts, some more accessories, also some arrows to the head and some headwear and such. So you have some small variations to the characters and then you see all the different animations that you have available for this character. So the amount of the animations you can see vary from character to character as well. Next up we have the lich pack or the lich character of the pack. And here you can see the, the Lich with all of its uh, different gear. And here you have a fairly naked one. And then here you can see the different accessories that you have available. And some color variations you can create as well. And in the back here we have some different animations from dying to being hurt, casting. And similar. Moving, getting summoned, attacking, such things. Next is the skeleton of the pack. So you can see there are some different variations when it comes to the accessories like bows and quivers and armaments and also different colorations. You can see there are some different weapons available here as well. And if we go and check in the back, we can see the different animations that are available to the skeleton. And the skeleton happens to be one of the characters that has the most amount when it comes to animations which is probably partly due to that it having multiple weapons. Last out we have the zombie and you can see that this one has some variations to it and also a small amount of uh, animations. There are some of these characters, they are all stylized but the, the goblin and the zombie are the ones that look the most stylized, most comical essentially. Uh, the other characters are uh, made in such a way that they would be easier to fit in a different style, I would think. But anyway, very interesting and nice looking pack overall, I would say. So where would all of these zombies come from? Well, from a secret lab, of course. And that is what we have here. We have a research facility where something has gone awry, obviously, something where he's having a really bad day, I guess. Uh, if we go outside a little bit here, you can see the sort of scope of the level they've created here. There are four different levels in this pack, since this is the environment mega pack, four in one. You have three different sort of research facility types of levels, and you could actually make them link together by... Uh, what you see here is essentially as an elevator shaft, and you could have them as different levels that are connected to each other. And then you have the fourth one, which is actually a secret base, which you could have as your top level if you wanted to. So the, the details and the 
assets that you have available to these different environments are quite nice. They are, are of high quality. Uh, they might not fit very well with the zombies pack, the character pack, because it's a little bit too stylized, but um, for a zombie invasion gone awry sort of scenario, uh, this is definitely an interesting pack. Next up is the research facility part of this pack, and you can see that equally here something has gone very, very awry. And there are different rooms where there are a bunch of different assets lying around, giving you a very cohesive feel to it. And to go outside to give you a sense of the scope. And here again you can see that you have, in this case, a few different levels. You have a slightly smaller level up here and slightly larger level down here. And they're connected with a elevator shaft over here, which you can go inside of and see. Um, so that's how you could connect all of these different levels together if you wanted to. And you can also have this uh, sort of a subset level where you have um, just movement between the different levels that are existing in the same map, essentially. Last of the research levels is the research center, which is this map. And you can see that they are similar in feel, although they have also slightly different uh, layouts and uh, structures to them. Some are more larger, open, uh, some are more clinical. Uh, so they, I think they would fit very well together. And again, you have a sort of uh, level structure here which you could connect with an elevator shaft. I do believe that the elevator was over here. No, I have lost the elevator. I'm sure there was an elevator here somewhere at any point. Anyway, so this is the research center, and let's take a look at the secret base as the last part of this pack. We are now outside, and this could work as either a standalone area or sort of the top level of the other levels if you wanted to. And you can sort of see that this would work well in a zombie apocalypse kind of situation as well. Very nice looking assets, and a fairly large base as well. So there's a lot of variation here and you can see that you get also uh, besides different assets for buildings and small things like chests and uh, drums you also get some vehicles which are actually uh, sort of modular in assets and rocket launchers if, in case you wanted to have that or I, I guess that's called something else if it's on a vehicle. Um, yeah, so that's the last of the four in one pack. Next up we have the pumpkin pack and this one is a little bit interesting in the sense that it's weird. Uh, it fits the theme of course uh, with Halloween and zombies and uh, all of that stuff uh, but the pack itself is... well there aren't a lot of pumpkins essentially. You can see uh, this is the mesh structure that you have so you get a lot of different foliage and gra grass and greens and such the amount of pumpkins though are a small amount uh, but yeah it's called the pumpkin pack and i'm sure this would complement the other parts that are available in this month's asset as well next up we have the zombie animations packs and here you can see that we have a bunch of groupings when it comes to animations a few different recovery and taunts you have some different attacks you have some different uh, movements and then you also have some that are consisting of a different character being part of the animation as well. So you have some variety here. Um, of course, these are maybe not easily retargetable to uh, uh, the, the other characters, depending on their sizes and stuff like that, because you might not be chomping on their neck if you're a tiny little goblin and such. Uh, but you have these uh, animations available and they are fitting the theme overall as well. So how do you make your zombies and your environments come to life? Well, you can make use of the advanced AI spawn system. And what this is, is essentially you have these green boxes which represent the different uh, AI that can be spawned in. And depending on your distance to them, they will be 
shown or not shown. You can see in the top left we have a, a, a an estimated amount of AI that are currently on the, le the level as it's uh, at 2400, but we're just seeing 34 because they are the only ones that are deemed as relevant for us. And as we move to different areas, they will pop in and be shown uh, where they are relevant to us. And all of this is configurable. And when characters are uh, destroyed or like out of our sign of vision, where they are not deemed as, as relevant, they are supposed to be keeping track of their movement anyway uh, until you get into a relevant range again so that they are have continued to move essentially. Uh, and there are also limits to uh, which point the asset will uh, be removing the movement part of uh, the AI as well. So this is essentially a asset that is meant to uh, make it easy and optimize your AI movement uh, over large areas like this, for example. So you can set up different zones and stuff uh, for different behaviors. And this is supposed to be multiplayer and network replicated. Uh, it has a bunch of configurability and there are also, uh, let's see here, you can set up uh, config areas where you can name things. Let me show you. So if we go up here, you can see that they have named something like seven area over here. You have a multiple levels area over there and stuff like that. So you can keep track of the different areas that you are intending to spawn in different AIs for and what their purpose would be. As if all of that was not enough. In addition to all of this, we also have one asset in the permanently free collection and that's where you can find it in the marketplace as well. So in this case, we have what's called the Fantastic Village Pack, and this is that village. It is a fairly large village, and the style fits very well with the other zombies, I would claim. So it might be a good fit in that sense. And you can see there are a lot of different houses here. Might not be that apparent since they have sort of similar color schemes, but let's look at the overview. So here we are on the overview. And you can see that there are different houses here. They are composed as blueprints where different uh, static meshes are put together to form the different units. And in addition to the houses and different colorings and stuff like that, you also have some smaller knickknacks, which essentially are uh, the different modular parts of which you can create some things like uh, walls, flags, um, well, signposts uh, is this fruits looks like bread uh, and fences small uh, stone walls and flowers hay water things like that so you have a lot of small detailed kind of assets available in this pack which fits very well together with the rest of the, the theme Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you liked the video, leave a like. If you did not like it, leave a dislike. Leave any suggestions or comments you have down below. Subscribe and share this video if you want to see more like it in the future. That is all for now. Keep on learning. Take care.